What up, folks? Um, I picked this item up at the 99 cent store. Actually, I picked four of them up, but that's neither here nor there. Um, it's a safe and healthy UV sanitizer one. Um, it basically sanitizes, you know, against germs, uh, bacteria, mold, things like that. And it's kind of interesting because, I mean, it uses ultraviolet light C, which, like I say, it can disinfect and um, sanitize. It's just kind of funny because you can't see it doing anything, but when you really look at it, when you consider rubbing alcohol and Lysol, it's not like you really watch them kill germs as well. We're cool with Lysol, but ideal of a certain light doing it, we we have a little problem with that. So, um, I kind of discovered the science about it and I try to trust the science and I picked up two of them at the 99 cent store I know they were at Dollar Tree for a while but they all sold out so I picked up two and ended up picking up two more because I figure I'm gonna kind of make use of it um I even have this UVC card that I'm able to test it and basically it turns the little little thing green which indicates that it's supposed to be it indicates that it's UVC and that's the bad one not UVA or UVB UVC is the one we're dealing with now the thing that surprised me about these being in the 99 cent store is that it's not a toy. I mean, they got them just lined up there. And um, with this particular one, it doesn't exact doesn't exactly have a, a safety lot, latch or anything like that. Basically, you know, you just open it up, hit the power button, and it emits UVC. And like I say, it's not a toy. So a kid will pick it up, look in it, and until he gets bored with it. By that time, he could have, um, you know, caused some kind of skin burns or some kind of retina damage. I don't know the exact thing. I know they can cause cataracts and liver spots. Well, skin cancer, that's the thing you got to worry about, especially in light-skinned individuals, you know, this thing can cause skin cancer so I just find it kind of interesting to see it here at the you know at the 99 cent store and it's like a whole bunch of most people don't even know what they're for um and again I got it for a dollar 99 now again being that it used to be a as seen on TV item I think it was probably originally $29.95 or $19.95 and didn't sell all that well. So, um, yeah, a dollar ninety nine. Um, since I am a sometime science teacher, I know I'm going to be doing experiments with it in classroom. That's the mad scientist that I am. I'm using it sort of like a foam soak. If you guys are familiar with foam soap, it's a little thing that you can use to disinfect your phones. And it's sort of like a lumen, which is a little drawer deal that can disinfect your CPAP parts or mask and stuff like that. Uh, the FDA doesn't recommended for CPAP, even though that's what it's made for, but yet the FDA recommends it for sanitizing N95 masks when there was a big crisis, a shortage of N95 masks during the um, 
the big bad disease pandemic. So again, this thing is not a toy, but it's kind of funny just seeing them for sale like this. Uh, next week, I'm going to do a video showing you how you can use this as a phone soak. And phone soak costs like what? $30, $40, $50? Or you can use it like a lumen. And lumens are like $300. This thing can do the same thing. And I'm going to show you that next week. So uh, be good and... We'll see. We'll see.